Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and welcome to this year's Christmas video. Tonight, I'm going to be sharing with you an old version of a poem that you're all familiar with. If you've ever heard of uh, Clement Clark Moore, uh, you may not know the name, but that's the gentleman that wrote Twas the Night Before Christmas. Now, a little known fact about that poem is that at the end, while it's oftentimes recited, uh, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night, the original version was Happy Christmas to all and all a good night. But there are other versions of it as well that go back even further. And if you look at one of the earlier editions, you find out that Clement Clark Moore was actually a prepper. You ready? Okay, let's go. Twas the night after Teotihuacan. What a terrible scene. Every prepper was counting their cans full of beans. The defenses were laid round the homestead with care, prepared for those legions who had not prepared. The ammo was nestled all snug in my mags with the rest of the preps in the stuffed bug-out bags. My dog with his rifle and I with my Glock were fearing our non-prepper neighbor at the front door would knock. When out on the fences there arose such a clatter I flipped on my Gen 4 night vision scope to see what was the matter. Away to my cover I ran in a matter most hasty, loaded around in the chamber and flipped off the safety. The light from a UFO shaped like a baguette revealed we were surrounded by an unnatural threat. The apocalypse had been far worse than I dreaded, for around us were zombies, and some were beheaded. Now 9mm, now 22, now shotgun and crossbow, on 556, on 45, my stockpiled ammo. Shoot out their legs, do what you must, so they stall, but blow them away, blow them away, blow them away all. As an army of ants out on their war march, when they meet with a grasshopper, their enemy arch, so up to the rooftop the zombies hope to break through, with flesh decomposing and brains on the menu. And then in a twinkling I heard in the attic the growling that started to cause me to panic. As I drew out my pistol and was turning to look, zombies crashed through the ceiling. My knees, how they shook. They were dressed all in rags from their head to their feet. Their teeth were all gnashing and wanting to eat. Their feet wore huge shoes when I glanced to look down, and I realized that these zombies were certainly clowns. Though dead were their eyes, their hair was atomic. They coughed out a wretch of bird flu that was chronic. Their droll little mouth was full of sharp broken teeth, and the flaps of broken dead skin revealed nothing beneath. They groaned, not a moan, but went straight to their rampage. I defended myself, shooting one in their package. This frightened the mob, those wandering f***ers. They fled from our home to the highway, attacking the truckers. We sprang to the pantry, though the air smelled quite stinky, and we feasted on beans, tang, rice, potatoes, and Twinkies. And you could hear us exclaim, zombies all drove out of sight, this totally sucks, I won't last a fortnight. Isn't that interesting when you just go back into history and realize that, you know, there are earlier versions of things and you never would have known. Clement uh, Clark Moore, totally a prepper. Absolutely. This whole video, totally historically accurate. It's just, it's amazing what you can learn online because everything online is true. That's it. Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas or whatever. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.